So today I wanted to show you my first time using the new update to the Glowforge print interface, which adds some editing capabilities. Before it was basically you brought your image in, you could resize it, move it around, and then cut it. But this actually lets you design a little bit within Glowforge print, which is pretty cool. So I think eventually it will become a premium service, but for now it's in beta testing and it's free. Um, here I am creating a new blank design. Um, I'm searching at the bottom for some clip art. Um, there's all kinds of new tools at the bottom. I searched for a bunny. Um, I picked a pretty cute one. I'm going to make some stud earrings here for Easter. Um, it took a long time to add to my design. It might be my internet. Uh, I don't also usually design on my phone. I usually use my computer, so it could be that also. So here's the image. Um, I was able to move it and resize it. I went for half an inch because that seems to be a pretty standard stud earring size, but in retrospect I should have probably made it a little bit bigger. It got kind of crumbly. Um, here I'm adding an outline to the image by clicking the little mountain tool, and what that does is actually adds a cut line. So before I was just engraving that, I could have changed it to cut, but it wouldn't have <laughs> really made any sense. So now I've added a line to cut around the image and you could make it offset and I probably should have done that too to make a little border. Um, let's see here. I was trying to find a way to duplicate this image and I couldn't really so I made a new, I just like uploaded the image again. Um, here I am printing on my Dirty Glowforge. It took about 2 minutes and 50 seconds to make these earrings. So in all from the time of designing them plus the time of cutting them I would say under 5 minutes. Um, I'm using proof grade maple hardwood here. It's really pretty. It's finished. Um, so here I am taking them out, and they cut perfectly as usual with proof grade. And here they are, all unmasked and made. You can see the edges are kind of wobbly, but they're pretty cute. And the great thing about these images are you have a commercial license, so you can sell what you make, and that's awesome for new makers it really kind of brings us up to the level of the cricket in my mind um but it's you know it opens the door for competition so i'm gonna keep designing mostly in adobe illustrator but this will be really fun to add you know last minute changes to my